Now they know they're not going to starve to death because they know I've seen them. Good morning, everyone. Desert Horizons, AZ off-grid, unplugged cabin ranch. <clears throat> I got the new heater hooked up. It took me all of five minutes. The only thing I had to do was connect the, the gas line to the bottom of the heater. <clears throat> That's all I had to do. I had to put some yellow tape around it <clears throat> and hook it up. And it's been working fine ever since. They changed it, got it a little cheaper in the manufacturing process, in that now you see this, let's see, where is it? This black thing right across the screen there. They put that in there in place of a piece of glass, which I really like being able to see the pilot light. Because when the pilot light goes out, you're not getting any more heat. Well, there's occasions that it just sputters out. I don't know why, but that's the way they do it. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, they took the piece of glass out. I really like that. But it works, and I'm glad I got it done for last night. Because uh, last night was uh, only about 30... That's act it was actually freezing here. It was actually below freezing here. They were saying about 33 in Tucson, but it got down to 30 or 31 here. And I've been getting lots of uh, recommendations from people that instead of an air conditioner, I should get a swamp cooler. That's what that is. That's a portable evaporative cooler. Runs water through there, or I can turn the water off and just use the fan. Uh, it, that works great for a lot of the times. When it starts getting humid during monsoon, it's when I break out the window air conditioner. So I was actually surprised that I was able to get the furnace running so easily. Uh, like I said, it took me less than five minutes to swap it out, which I was a little concerned about. There's the box it came in. I was going to do an unboxing and installation video. I said, screw it. I just wanted to get it done and on. Wanted to get it done and on. <clears throat> See, I haven't even hooked up the fan above it yet. But I had it turned on this morning. Oh, it's nice. And I got a new case for my computer. See, it works. You hit a switch, it turns on. Wouldn't do that with the other one. <clears throat> and I went ahead and got all the light bling stuff. So, but it works, works beautiful. I don't know if any of you have ever uh, built a computer, but uh, there's a whole bunch of individual wires. And I think they got it down to like seven now. It used to be 15 or 17 or whatever, it was way too many. But individual wires that you need to plug onto the motherboard. And it's relatively easy to find which connections go where. Um, but I got conflicting labels on my motherboard. So I hooked the power switch up to the power LED, which makes a difference. And I hit the power switch and nothing happened. And I was freaking. It's like, oh geez, don't tell me the motherboard died. <clears throat> so I went back and looked at the manual again. I looked at the labels, looked at where I would plugged it in and realized that I had plugged the one wire into the wrong thing. I moved it over and hit the switch and boom, powered right up. It's like, oh yeah, cool. So, but that was about the cheapest case I could find on Newegg. That was big enough and that I liked. So, but that's a computer I built almost four years ago, still running beautiful. Like I said, I got the furnace fixed. So those are the two big problems I was having this last week was the furnace and the computer. And there's the uh, owner's manual for the Dynaglow Blue Flame wall heater. $137 from Walmart. So they do sell them for that price. You just need to do a little shopping around and be patient and all that stuff. And then on to the next project, which I'm doing outside. 
Another gorgeous day here on the ranch. The final uh, day of our winter storm. Today's Thursday. It's the final day of our winter storm. It's only going to get the high of 60. So I can totally relate to what those people are going through in Texas. Uh, I really feel bad for them. It's like I don't have to worry about running out of power, running out of heat, running out of water. Got it all taken care of. One main advantage to moving off grid is I'm responsible for it, not idiots in government. So, it's looking to be a beautiful day here. It's a high of only about 60 degrees today. So, and I got some happy puppies over here. Anytime they're eating, they're happy. They were just about to go chase something when I walked out here. And I said, oh, wait, we better stay. This is where food is. <laughs> so, yep. All right, on to the next project, which I was hoping to have been able to work on this week. But because of the heater and the computer, there's the old case. And that's what the problem was was the switch for turning it on and off stopped working. So anyway, let's see. I got the first part of the gutter connected, done. And it's running across here. Now that's not the final set position. That's just where I've got it hanging with some wire and stuff. To, hold it in place but that's basically what it's gonna do is come down run across here and then I need to figure out oops, figure out some sort of a way to connect that to that with a uh, actually two downspouts one going into the tank and another one going down into the first flush diverter system because I need to get that pipe and this Probably like this would be the best way to do it, I think. That and this connected to a down piece coming out of here about four, five, six feet long. And then another piece going over into the top of the barrel. I've got two of these things. Flexible hose pipe. Haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to utilize them in the project, but I needed them here just in case. If, don't, if I don't, then I'll just send them back. So, but, I mean, you know, I'll get there. It'll get done. And I've had that piece you can see it's all full of bird crap. It's been sitting over here. I got it last March, April maybe. I was on the first load of stuff I got. So I need to shorten shorten this end piece down too, like I did on the other one. I just took that uh, joint piece off of there and slid the whole thing down and then screwed it on and cocked it up. So it's not going to be leaking. Yeah. So it's getting there. Hopefully I'll have it all ready by July when it's actually going to start raining again. Hopefully it's going to start raining again. Yeah, that's how I did that was I just cut that joiner piece off and slid that over that and screwed it on. So, it would be nice to actually be able to start collecting some rainwater. You got a full bellies now, Ruger. Huh, you got a full bellies, huh? I don't feel breeze at all out here this morning. 
it's just beautiful. And the sun was shining on my solar panels by 7.30 this morning. There for a while, it was getting close to, closer to 9 o'clock. So it's four months. I don't know exactly what today's date is, but it's got to be about the 17th. But over here, the sun, jeez, I can't see anything. All I see is glare. But uh, let's see, where am I? That mountain range there, on the right side of it, there's a dip. The sun was right at the very edge of that, going up the hill from here on out. So it's four months from there to there and back again. Now it's going to be eight months from the bottom of that hill, right about where the awning is, over to there and back to there. Like I said, the solar panels were getting sun by 7.29 this morning. Sun rose at 7.03. <clears throat> I had to trim this tree down a little bit so it wasn't blocking the sun from the solar panels in the morning. Yeah, look, oh, look, at they're both here. There's my Remy and there's my Ruger. Nice hot Ruger coming. Hey, puppy. Yeah, you good puppies, you good puppies, you good Remy, yeah. Uh, yep. this to a few people. I don't know if you can see that red prickly pear there. That looks red to me. That doesn't look purple. Ever since that rain we got about two weeks ago, a lot of the red ones have turned back to green. But uh, I should be right about the center of the screen. Um, there's a lot of them are red around here. Let's see how this is doing. Uh, still a little green, but I I can't tell if it's getting better or worse. And the saguaro. And the bird of paradise. else has been getting in there chopping it up since I set this up like this so it must be working a little bit I said another gorgeous day on the ranch I know I keep saying that but that's why I moved out here was because I wanted the beautiful weather some people like would prefer would put scenery on top of the list Everybody's got their own order of lists. Mine was weather, because that affects me every day of the week. Every day. So it was weather, neighbors, and scenery, and my was my first top three in order of priority. And my trusty helper, always right there by my side. When you can't see her, that's where she is. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, this is going to be a beautiful week. The weather's supposed to be starting to warm up, mid 70s, here in a day or two, and 82 or so by next Tuesday and Wednesday. 
get rid of this damn jacket I'm wearing, coat, whatever you want to call it.